Hello YouTube and welcome to another Mac OS tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install a new plugin in oh my Z Shell. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video I showed you how you install Z Shell or especially oh my Z Shell into your Mac OS. Okay. So we have said that actually all my Z shell will add more functionality, more plugins to your terminal. Okay. So in this video, I'll show you how to install a pretty interesting plugin for all my Z shell. This plugin is called the auto suggestions plugin. And actually it will allow you to auto complete your command. Okay. So for example here I am on all my Z shell terminal here. So if I want to type to type a command for example ping dot So <clears throat> it would be nice if next time I call this ping command it will actually autocomplete it with the rest of it, the rest of the command. Okay, so it would be a pretty nice plugin to add. So I will not be actually typing the whole command once again and once again. So in order to do that, we will install this plugin. Okay. So of course, first you have to install all my Z shell and that I showed you how to in my last video. Now I will install this auto suggestion command or auto suggestion plugin. So all you have to do is to clone this repo here and all the commands here that you will see will find it on the description video. Okay. Here we go. So we are cloning this get repo and actually what it does this command is to create actually a directory called dot cs so let's say it here with the command list minus a for all because it's a hidden directory here it is and inside it you will find all the code necessary to run this plugin okay and after that we will also run script using this command so so actually this command will just install a script that we have already downloaded using the git clone command. Here we go. It's pretty easy, pretty fast. So now let's see the magic happen. Okay. So you can see I just typed the P letter and actually here my terminal gives me the rest of the command so all i have to do is to press the left row key on my keyboard et voila i get the whole command so it's pretty pretty nice plugin that allows me to com auto complete my commands and of course the auto completion is based on your history so you have to already actually type the command and the next time it will just, if you type just the first letter, it will autocomplete based on your history. Okay. And remember also to autocomplete it using your left or forward row in your keyboard. Et voila, the command run successfully. So for example, let's try another command that I have used. So if I type, for example, the V, I get the suggestion here vim dot z shell rc file because I have already opened it using the vim editor. So now all I have to do is to type or to click on the left row on my keyboard and I get the full command. I can of course open my file as I want. Okay. So let me clear that. It's pretty easy, pretty nice and easy to install plugin. 
okay so now let's say that you want to get rid of this plugin you don't want it anymore and also it's pretty easy to uninstall it all you have to do is actually to delete the directory where all the files related to this plugin were installed and we will perform that using this command So the command here it is it removes just actually the directory where all the script related to the, related to the plugin were installed et voila pretty easy pretty nice of course if i type p you can see that i still get the auto completion that is normal because if you want really to see you have to close your terminal and open it again in order to get now you can see you have to type the whole command because I reloaded my terminal so remember always to reload your terminal or close it and open it to get the changes applied okay so now you can see that uh, actually I don't get any more the suggestions or autocompletion because I have removed the directory where the script or the files related to the plugin were installed. Okay, so that was just a brief, uh, actually, tutorial how to install this. Uh, I guess important plugin to have with all my Z shell. So as always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.